Hey people, Anthony 4 before Diesel. This is going to be a really good diagnostic video for mechanics and DIYs to help understand when injectors need replacing and uh, how, I suppose how diagnostic isn't really going to tell you too much on some injectors. So we have got the diagnostic playlist, if you check out our playlists, showing you all the different vehicles, the 120s, the autos, the manuals, the Hiluxes, the 4-speed, the 5-speed auto manual, whatever. This one is a Hilux five-speed manual. So um, it's done 130,000 Ks on these injectors. We consider them to be in perfectly normal operating condition, even though they're nearly 10 years old. So there is some varying information to when you replace your injectors, which is why I always say, subscribe, turn the bell on, watch and listen, get yourself educated. You're gonna learn a lot. So just have a look at a few of the readings here. We're at the top now, let's go through it. Like I said, 130K manual to be clear okay right let's go first the, the load just have a look at the load right calculate load 12.2 it's an accurate reading okay we're using the Vident uh, 800 Pro just a scan tool you can get from AZ scanners I'm not telling you to go buy one I'm just telling you what we're using because people ask questions if we don't what's that scan tool when do I get one it's an uh, 800 Pro and you get it from AZ scanners okay um, there is a couple of small issues with it at this stage which we've informed them of it will do the pilot learn, but it doesn't tell you what to do and when to do it. It doesn't tell you it's complete. But if you've experienced with these things, it gets the job done. It's, this is not about the scanner. It's about the reading. So let's get onto that. It's also like the map reading. Uh, sorry, the map reading is wrong. Okay. Like a lot of scan tools, when you see 72, 75, 76, it's all wrong. It's the scan tools wrong because it's going to be about 95, might be 92, might be 98. It's going to be around the 95, 96 mark. Okay. That's the real reading. This is wrong. Copy, wrong. So as professional as it looks, it's actually true that it shouldn't be wrong. And if it is wrong, they should swiftly pull their finger out and fix it up because it looks very unprofessional. Okay, so, and that's how we roll, okay? It's a good scan tool, but we tell the truth about things. So, you know, until it's fixed, when it's fixed, we can do a video saying, yeah, it's all fixed up now. Those That Pilot Learn software is good and the map reading uh, is now correct. So moving on, calculate load is what we're talking about. The point was, I can yak, 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 you just keep looking at the load for the last minute and uh, you're going, oh, well, that's load. That's because it's a manual. So normal load on a September 09 onwards Hilux or a 150 Prado 1KD FTV is about the 15 mark. They can be 16, 17, 18, don't be concerned. If it goes beyond 18, then we need to talk. We need to look at the other readings. We need to look at the kilometers, basing it on averages when to replace the injectors, okay? If it's under, uh, say, 14.9, 15.2, you're going to see a lot. It can be down as, it can go down in the 12s and 13s, even for the autos, it can do that. But that's not what they normally do, and it's not really a problem, because it happens in about one out of 10 vehicles. Add or subtract two or three to the load reading, okay? Try and explain it best as I can. But this 12.2, 11.8, that's normal for a manual. That's what I consider normal, okay? Now, let's have a look at some other readings. Disregard the map, because that's wrong. Math, that's all good for what it is. Uh, we'll go through, pick out a few of the most important ones. Uh, one of them would be the injection volume, okay? Injection volume, I'll get, get it to the top of the picture so we're clear. Injection volume is at the top, 6.33. Why is it so low? Mine's seven or eight, he says because yours is the auto. If you got the auto, it's gonna be about eight or nine. That's around about where they are. It's not the normal five or six on the older injectors for the 120 Prados and the middle of 06 to the September 09. Different readings on those injectors. You can rely on diagnostic. You can give me readings like this and I can tell you how old the injectors are, how many Ks they've done. On these, you cannot do it. I'd really prefer you base it on averages. By watching our videos, you can decide when to replace your injectors, when you need to change the seats. And of course, we can help you with that if you don't quite fully get it, but you need to be glued to our Facebook groups and pages, absorbing all that information. Okay. So you can see about six is around what you're gonna get from a manual with the later injectors up until the last of the 1KDs from September 09. Now, next most important ones, let's just have a look at the feedback values. So we'll get those lined up at the top, one, two, three, four. These are not that important because you generally don't see too much wrong with them, especially in these vehicles, these later ones that we talked about from September 09 onwards. I would like to, if I was gonna do a cold, a check injectors, 
I want to do it from cold and I want to look at those readings on these vehicles, on these later ones, okay? But on the earlier ones, it's not as important, but it's about 10% of the picture. If they're two point something or, or three, the limit is plus or minus three. So there's some have got a, haven't got a minus, that's adding and subtracting fuel on that individual cylinder. So to be explain it simply, if all the injectors were worn evenly and doing the same thing and they all said zero because everything's even, that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with the injectors because you've got to look at the total volume, the load, because if injectors aren't working right, it's going to create more load. Um, if it's putting on more fuel, you're going to see it in the injection volume, but it doesn't mean these are out. A lot of people are still focused on one, two, three, four. It's like they can only count to one, two, three, four. There's much more guys. Okay, now let's look at the next one. So have a look at them. If they're threes or anywhere near it, the injectors are rubbish, okay? You can get close to twos. 1.8 is quite common even with new injectors, but they should come in to check by the time the vehicle warms up pretty quickly. And you'll see the same thing six months later, a year later, two years later. It won't really change if there's not a problem. If there's a problem, it's just going to get worse, 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 most likely. All right, next one. Pilot 1, Pilot 2, quite commonly around the 430 on these, up to about 450 mark. That's what we're seeing, no problem. Main injection period, this is what a manual does. You're going to notice it's different to yours. They do jump around a fair bit. It's not too bad. What are we seeing here? I'm not going to change into the into the graph. I'm just going to go, I'm seeing down to 360s. Am I seeing 480s? It's happened pretty quick. So the good news is this scan tool, the refresh rate's really good because look how fast it's all moving, right? So that's good. But to give you an indication with 100,000, 150,000K injectors in a manual, that's what you're going to expect to see. Now, as they get more worn, they jump around more that's when you've got to start thinking but this thing's quiet it runs well um so you know you can't you can't always go by readings you can't i've, I've said it for years we've about 10 years now specializing in 1kds this is all we do um but you know i've said for a long time you can't really go by not diagnostics on these september 09 onwards things the earlier ones are not full dlc coded manufacturing change on and off in 2010 that got into vehicles, some 2012s, but by 2013, the full DLC was in vehicles and the injectors are superior. They do last longer, but the nozzle needles do wear. Can be from about 150,000 Ks. Sometimes they're okay at 2,250, okay? So information there to, to consider. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Anything else really? Um, you can see the timing there. That's all pretty normal. That's what you're gonna see. And we'll just have a look at the fuel pressure so you can see what normal is with a normal long SCV. The target's on 35 and you'll see the actual. It's the second one down. Don't worry about the, the number two. Just look at the actual fuel pressure in the middle. This one here. See how it's really mainly between 33 and 35. Might go 36 something in, in the under the 36 range. Might go down to 32, but mainly 33. There you go, you saw a 32. That is normal, and that's why if you've got a long one and it does that, you don't need to change anything. Don't waste your money. I'm here to help. I'll give you the right information. Don't replace the long SCV unless you've got a symptom like stalling and you haven't got an extra fuel filter, because if you've got extra fuel filters, that can cause stalling, starting issues, number of issues like that. But if you just want to be one of those people to spend 500 bucks and go, hey, you know, I just want to put one in, see if it made any difference, uh, you can go ahead and do that. The other way to check fuel pressure is you hold it on 3,000 RPM. And once again, not much variation. You can see the target around about 60,000 and the uh, fuel pressure about the same. So that pretty much covers checking a few of these things. There's a whole lot of things we could go through here, but I'm going to kind of go out on a limb here and say it's not that important. Look at all this, all these readings. But I'm going to go and say, look, it's not that important. Um, you know, there's information there. There's a few things, but there's not a lot in relation to what you need to know about these vehicles. Um, so 35 minutes since we cleared the DTCs, right? Startability malfunction, normal. When you've done injectors and there's no fuel in there, you're cranking it to get it started. It's going to throw that code, whatever it is, startability malfunction number. Um, uh, what else alright I think we're going to wrap it up subscribe turn the bell on if you want this is where you're getting your uh, 
There you go, minimum and maximum turbo angles and everything. Happy days. We'll go into that in another video. We've got to talk diffs soon. We've got to talk diffs. People want to know about diffs. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the playlist. The injector, it's called Diagnostic Information, something like that. Check our playlists. You click on your subscriptions on your YouTube. You click 4 before diesel opens our page. You click playlists and bang, go through our playlist till you find the one that says Diagnostic Information. Get into those diagnostic videos. Understand and I'm not telling you should go buy one of these tools here. I believe everybody should have some sort of scan tool, but that could be a scan gauge too. Once again, AZ scanners sell those. A scan gauge too has been the old trusty tool people have used for many years. Um, you can program the transmission temp on most vehicles. The codes are available. I've got them on all of our vehicles. You can get the scan gauge three if you want, whatever. You're starting to spend 400 bucks though, instead of high 200s. You can get cheaper things. You can also get the Autofix 3210. I think it's about 100 and 20 bucks from Trevor Ryan, Dirt Road 4x4. As long as you've got something that you can clear codes and that you can, um, yeah, clear codes is the main one in case something pops up. And that, so you can see the number so that you can look in the right direction if you've got a problem. Anyway, I could go on, waffle, waffle, waffle. Too much waffle, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.